This is so cool up here. I'm having the best time exploring this place. I can't believe I waited so long to do this. Morning from Jom Tien Beach. I'm just out for a bit of a walk this morning. It's a beautiful day here today and man, it feels good to be back in Thailand. So I just shot down here. There's a couple of people I wanted to see and catch up with and I've missed, I've missed being here, missed being by the beach. And I mean, look at this. It's just so beautiful here. So I'm not here for long, just here for two days and then shooting back to Bangkok. I've actually got a lot on this week. I'm heading to Phuket on Tuesday. I'll be there for I think five or six days, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm catching up with a mate from Australia who now lives in Vietnam, but Really excited to see him and just to spend some time down in Phuket as well. I haven't been there in a really long time and I'm dying to get back down and spend some more time by the beach. So today I'm actually heading to a place that's been <laughs> suggested to me by many people and I've actually been wanting to go here for a really long time. It's been on my list of places to visit and videos to do for yeah, probably probably over a year now and today is the day I'm finally going to get it done and I'm actually really excited about it. This behind me here is the old Batman Club. It's been abandoned for a really long time and people were suggesting I should come and check it out. But I just pictured like a really small nightclub somewhere. But uh, yesterday yep. I saw pictures of this place. And it looks really cool inside and it's huge. It's much bigger than I expected. So let's go see if we can find a way in. Creepy. So the ground floor here is pretty much all underwater, which looks really cool, but gives it a really spooky vibe in here. So I think this is just one section of the downstairs. There's a big wall behind me here, but this isn't the edge of the building. So I'm going to go around and see if I can find my way back to there. There's also upstairs, but I can't see any stairs or any way in from where we are here. So. This, it's a massive building, so we'll just keep exploring all the way around. Okay, here we are, level two and level three by the looks of it. There's awesome graffiti here everywhere. It's really cool. Level three looks much better to walk around in, except for the giant hole in the floor. You just gotta be careful of that, but more really cool graffiti here too. But it's light here and you can walk around. The other one, the other level down there had wood all over the place. And I hate walking on wood because often it'll have like screws or nails in it. But this is really easy to walk around in here. Watch that. <laughs> Now, while I'm 
I'm sitting here with my legs dangling in this creepy hole. I just want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video and that's Surfshark VPN. So great company. They've been supporting me for almost a year now, which is really cool. So if you are traveling or actually even if you're not traveling, I do recommend having a VPN anyway. So Surfshark is who I always use. They were my personal go-to. I used to pay for them. Now I get it for free, but they're a great provider that I definitely recommend using. So there's the obvious security benefits. You know, I've been hacked before, but I use it mainly for streaming services. You know, I watch the Supercross racing every week and the website that I stream that from doesn't work here in Thailand for some reason so I can just change my location to the US and watch it and the safety features is definitely something you're gonna want when you're traveling or even, even when you're not traveling so I have a great discount code that you can use it's keys one and that gives you 83% off plus three months extra for free all the information everything you need to know is in the description below so go check out Surfshark awesome company and thanks to them for all the support for me over the last year get me away from this hole Ugh. Oof. I love I hate, but I love like dangling your legs over the edges of things like that. It's freaky, it kind of gets the heart pumping, but I mean, you're fine for the most part. Like if you think when you sit on a chair, you never really fall forwards out of the chair. I'm not sober anyway. <laughs> So up to level, I don't even know what we're up to now, but I'll tell you what, if you love exploring and you like street art and graffiti or you're into photography or anything like that, this place is definitely worth checking out. It's super cool. Just keep going up, see where we end up. Oh, I think there's a rooftop. This is so cool up here. I'm having the best time exploring this place. I can't believe I waited so long to do this. Well, this has been really cool. So if you do enjoy exploring or if you want just a different experience here in Pattaya, come check this place out. It's actually really easy to get around in here. You know, like there's a big hole in the side that you can just walk straight in. You don't need to climb anywhere. It's quite well lit. It's not, it's not too dangerous apart from that big hole, but <laughs> that level is well lit. And if you fall down that hole, you're doing something wrong. But this is just a really cool place and fun to explore. And I'm glad I came down here. 